Hey sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be doing our July budget closeout. Um, as you can tell, we're already open to the month. So we are all set up and ready to go. Um, before we get started, I just wanted to take a second and introduce myself. My name is Michaela Bornhart. I know we have a lot of new faces here, so I feel like I need to do that um, before we can get started. But if you are new here, thank you for joining us. If you are not new here, then welcome back and thanks for coming back. Um, most of the stuff on my channel you're going to find is like budgeting related, planning related, um, some like lifestyle content, just stuff like that. So if that's something that interests you, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you can stick around. Um, but either way, let's go ahead and get started on today's video. So the last time we checked in was actually our week three check in, which you can watch that video is up already. Um, I did not do a week four check in. I just went through um, and closed out the budget already. Um, for those of you that don't know, I do keep a like actual copy of the budget in a little notebook, like just my rough draft where I make it um, each month. And so I close it out there first. So I'm really just kind of copying things over into here. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start up at the top with our income for the month. I'm gonna try to get situated here. So let's put that over there. Um, all right, so for Jeremiah, we estimated that he would bring in around $3,000. He actually brought in through his salary $36.49 um, and 75 cents. So definitely a little more than what we anticipated, which is great. So I am gonna use a green pen. I use these two pens. They're just like some, um, let's see, they're the Pen and Gear brand. They're just like from Walmart. Um, I just use these two for adding up on the side like the difference so if we were to the good i use green if we were negative i use the red um for this obviously even though like actual was more than this so technically down here that would be red um in this case it's going to be green since it's income so we brought home or he brought home 649 dollars and 75 cent more than what i anticipated um then for myself you can see what i had estimated i brought in two thousand five hundred eighty three dollars and sixty nine cent so again more than anticipated by a hundred and seventy seven dollars and ninety two cent and then we did have some various miscellaneous things for like some returns that we made some refund checks that we got like for vacation bible school things um just things of that nature so i included all of those things here so when we totaled those up they came to three hundred and forty two dollars and forty seven cent Obviously, since I didn't budget anything there, that puts us $342.47, um, like, to the good. So, overall, we brought in more than we anticipated for every line item up there. Our total ended up being $6,575.91. I couldn't write for a second. Um, and just to note the difference there, that is a difference of $1,170.14. So that kind of finishes up the income section. Now down here is where it gets a little more interesting. So most of the bills at the top are the things at the top are all of our bills. Most of them stay the same every month or when I do our budget, I already know what they are. Like AT&T comes out at the very beginning of the month. So I always know ahead of time what that bill is gonna be before I usually sit down to do the budget. Um, now stuff down here is more of our like variable things. So those are things that change, like how much we spend on gas, how much we spend on groceries, um, how much we spend like for medical things, that kind of stuff is all down here. Um, and that's the stuff that, you know, will change every month. So starting at the top with our bills though, like I said, there was not a, you know, any difference on these things at the top. So I'm just gonna fill them in really quickly. Um, and I'm just putting a little like dash over here just to mark that there's no, you know, no difference there. Um, like I said, I already knew AT&T, so we can fill that one in. All of these were the same. And then I think this is the last one. Okay. So stopping there, um, State Farm was a little different. I always estimate 230. Uh-oh, what in the world happened there? 
That was weird. Let me fix you guys and then we'll get back. Okay, so I got you guys set back up. I don't know what happened there. Um, but anyways, we're going to keep going. So we were at State Farm. So like I was saying, I always budget $230 for that. This month we ended up, the bill ended up being $232.51, um, which means we were over budget technically um, by $2.51. Um, so not bad there. Our next one is our power bill always budget a hundred ended up being $95 even this month. Um, so we were, Ooh, not $9,500, $95. So we were $5 to the good there. All right. So here is where it kind of gets a little interesting um, and where we get a little off track. So obviously we all know gas prices are high right now. Um, we actually did not go as far over as I thought we were going to. I budgeted $300. Um, we actually spent $349.34. Um, I really thought we were going to make it to the end of the month without having to fill up again, but that did not happen in the Tahoe, which is what I drive. Um, so we were $49.34 over budget where that is concerned. I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit. Um... So yeah, there's that one. And groceries is where it got really bad though. So we budgeted 500. We were doing really good with that at the beginning of the month. Um, but then Jeremiah and I actually have, have been doing a like pickup order. So I've been ordering everything ahead. And then the only thing that I actually go into the store to pick up is like produce because I'm a stickler on picking that out myself um, as well as meat. So those kind of things I would go into the store and pick up. But everything else I pick up through a grocery order. Um, well, this one time, the second time we shopped in July, Jeremiah and I actually went into the store and we spent way more than we needed to. Um, I think that particular grocery trip, we spent like over $400, um, which in and of itself was like right at our budget. Um, we budgeted 500 overall for the month. We, I hate to say this out loud. We, um, spent $895 and 65 cents. So, we were very, very much over budget um, for a total of 300. Now, oh, I just hit you guys. Wow, what is happening with this tripod thing today? I just cannot get this correct. Um, so $395.65 is what we were over budget. Uh, then for my husband's tobacco, I did not think about the fact that we, and this kind of feeds into the grocery problem as well, I didn't think about the fact that Jeremiah was going to get three paychecks in July, which means we go grocery shopping three times. He'll buy tobacco three times. We do everything like that every when he gets paid. So um, I only thought about going twice, which is typically you can see my hand. I'm totally talking with my hand over here. Um, we're quickly losing light because I'm sitting in front of a window and it's starting to get dark outside. Um, but... I did not account for all three trips. I was accounting for a normal month, which would have two. Um, so typically in a month, he spends around $80 to $85. This time he spent $130.53. So we were over budget there by $45.53. Then for medical, I budgeted $100. I ended up having to do some extra visits um, to... My family doctor went to the emergency room. We've just been having a lot going on with the pregnancy. Um, Jeremiah also has been a little sick. So we have a lot going on medically. Um, so we're already actually over budget for our August budget as well, just by two visits. Um, but in July, I budgeted 100 and we ended up spending $284.74, which is not, I mean, yes, it's a lot, but it's not something we can really help, you know, like we can't, there's nothing I can do about that. If we have to go to the doctor, then we have to go to the doctor, especially myself right now being, um, 36, a little over 36 weeks pregnant. Like if I'm having problems, they have to be fixed. So, or we got to figure out what's going on. Um, for fun money, we budgeted 500. We were over on that as well. We spent $663 and 86 cent. So that means we were over budget by $163.86. Then for credit cards, we put $500 towards them. Um, that matched everything, so there's no difference there. 
For sinking funds, um, I kind of explained this in my check-in, but we took my last paycheck from my school job when I was teaching um, and fully funded one of our sinking funds as well as um, putting a lot of that towards like what we would typically put in in a month. So we did not put in the typical amount um, that we would. So typically we would put in $869.00. We actually only did $398.90. Um, so that one, you know, is a lot less. So technically we're in the green here for $470.10. Um, and then the last thing was unbudgeted. I don't budget anything for that, but we did have some unbudgeted or like unexpected things come up. Um, so we have $252.12 there. So obviously that is what we are over. So let's jot that down and then that looks terrible. We're gonna add all this stuff up. Okay, and I've actually already added it up obviously just for the purposes of making this a quicker video. Um, I did all of the work for this off camera. But when you add all of these things up, that comes out to us spending $5,259.21. Um, and if we subtract what we made up here, what we actually made for the month, and take this out of it, that means we saved, or we could put into savings around 13, 16, and 70 cents. So overall, we ended up being still like under budget, I guess you would say, um, for the most part, like we didn't, why is he, what, he, what is he doing? I'm looking at Jeremiah outside. It's literally getting dark. He knows I'm filming a video and now he's going to weed eat. I don't, I don't understand the theory or the thought behind this, but either way. Um, yeah, so we are still technically like over or under budget, um, considering that we brought home more than we, um, spent for the month. So I'm okay with that. Like I said, going forward into August, we are already over budget for our medical expenses, um, because we are you know, having some, I don't want to say issues with pregnancy, but we are having some like, you know, concerns and things going on. So, um, which I'll get into in a totally different video because that has nothing to do with budget, but either way, um, this is kind of where we're at moving forward. I'm going to go ahead and pop these things out of here and move them to August. Overall though, I hope you guys enjoyed our little July budget close out. If you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, so you can stick around for our August budget and all the other planning videos that are coming and I will catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye guys.